Okay. Bonjour à tous et toutes. Hello everyone. And welcome to the inauguration of uh, Deconfine, the International Digital Media Art Festival that is curated by us, Media Art South Asia. The Media South Asia is a project created by Proiti and I and is dedicated to the documentation and dissemination of media art practices in Indian subcontinent. Deconfine as a festival is our first curatorial effort. The festival was conceived under the ages of Novom Numeric by l'Institut Francais de Paris and is supported by the network of Alliance Francaise in India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Nepal, as well as the French Institute in India. This festival, Deconfine, hosts a month long online media art exhibition available for all to explore for free on the website, which is deconfine.org. We also have a series of conversations with artists and researchers and curators working with media, art, and digital culture. All these conversations will be streamed online on the Alliance Francaise Facebook pages and also the festival website where these conversations will be archived for future references. We also have an exclusive artist workshop for a limited number of participants this year. Um, and this is one of the first uh, few, this is one of the first few completely online media art festivals in South Asia. So uh, we're extremely excited to present you this and we hope that all of you enjoy it. Um, we want to begin by thanking first of all, all the partner organizations without whose support we couldn't do this today. And the representatives of these organizations are with us today. So from French Institute in Paris, uh, we have Anna Lou, Chargé de Projet Département Numérique. From Fondation des Alliances Françaises, we have Jean-François Hans, who is the coordinator for the geographic zone in Africa, Indian Ocean, and Asia. We have also Gaël de Carigadec, director of Alliance Française Ahmedabad, who is piloting the whole project with us, and is also representing the Alliance Française Network in India. And I am Khayal Trivedi, and together with Proiti Shilachare, who is my colleague, we are from Media Art South Asia. Before we tell you about the festival in more detail, we will invite uh, Hannah Lu from EF Paris to speak a little bit about Novom Numeric, under which the Deconfine was created. Uh, thank you for joining us, Hannah, once again, and welcome to Deconfine. Could you just please share some words about the whole festival Novom Numeric and how it has been promoting critical engagement with digital culture all over the globe? Um, hello, everyone, and thank you, Kayala, for this introduction. Um, so my name is Anna Loué, and I'm Program Officer for Digital Cultures at the Institut Francais here in Paris, as you just mentioned. Uh, so thank you first for this invitation. The Institut Francais is uh, very pleased to attend this opening sequence of the Deconfine uh, Festival with all of you. Uh, we are delighted to see that the Deconfine Festival opens today as part as the 2020 edi edition of the Novembre Numérique uh, festival, uh, Digital November, um, for our, um, our participants who do not speak French. Uh, so Digital November, uh, Novembre Numérique is a worldwide festival organized by the Institut Francais and the French Cultural Network Abroad. Uh, so all the Institut Francais, all the Alliance Francaise, all the cultural services of the embassies, uh, of the French embassies uh, around the world. And it is an invitation to explore and discover digital cultures in their most most diverse forms during the entire course of the month of November. So thanks to events proposed to the general public, but also to a professional audience, these programs present the broad diversity of digital cultures where technology meets other forms of creation. So for example, visual arts, performing arts, literature, video games, and so forth. And the goal is uh, to, to further the conversation between French and international media artists and professional during this international highlight dedicated to digital cultures in their very, very broad spectrum. Um, so exhibitions, performances, debates, workshops are, for instance, proposed to publics around the world to better apprehend digital technologies and how they might impact the world we live in. And uh, we're very, very happy this year because um, Novembre Numérique is celebrating its fourth edition. And we're delighted that more than 75 countries and over 100 cities will invite to a collective discovery and reflection around digital cultures uh, and media arts this year. Um, so, as, of course, as, uh, as you are well aware, uh, this year has led to quite a series of unprecedented challenges in the light of the global sanitary crisis we're still experiencing. And uh, while the current context is questioning our relation to digital technologies on individual but also on collective basis, 
And as the number of online events has really increased uh, pretty drastically, Novembre Numérique provides an opportunity to pursue the reflection on the digital, digital challenges uh, that, are, that are at stake in our societies. And um, we are very pleased to see such relevant, rich and bold programs emerge online this year in response to the impossibility of gathering crowds physically to celebrate uh, Novembre Numérique this year and uh, as a, a, a consequence of this uh, global, global crisis. And so the Deconfined Festival proposed 100% uh, online this year is truly an example uh, for us since it entirely addresses the goals of uh, Novembre Numérique by uh, really truly creating bridges uh, between South Indian artists, curators, scholars, and their French counterparts uh, through a series of online talks, workshops, and exhibitions uh, you will all have a, a chance to discover in the coming days. And um, the, the silver lining somehow is that digital technologies can also enable us to alleviate uh, some constraints and erase boundaries as uh, contents can be easily uh, shared to a greater audience and it is uh, presently the case. And uh, since the, the Deconfined Festival has been the result of a fruitful collaboration between uh, the Alliance Française and Institut Français networks in India, but also with Alliance Française in Pakistan, in Nepal, in Bangladesh, uh, this really shows that the, the regional scope of the Deconfined Festival enables many, many more participants to attend and to, be, to be, really be part of this wonderful experience. Uh, so just we, we really want to wish you a great festival and a beautiful um, edition of uh, Novembre Numérique uh, this year. Uh, so thanks to all of you and congratulations for this really exciting project. So I think we'll be able to see a, just a little teaser about uh, Novembre Numérique in a second. for that, Hannah. Uh, more details about Digital November are available on the festival website. And now we come to the network which has made this festival possible, the Alliance Francaise Network. As we all know, this worldwide network is dedicated to promoting arts and culture across regions and strengthening cross-border ties. These values are embodied in the very essence of Deconfine. And now we would like to invite Mr. Hans to speak about the network of Alliance Francaise internationally and its dedication to promoting intercontinental cultural cooperation. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Hans, and you have the floor. Mr. Hans, you're on mute. Can you just unmute yourself? Okay. Thank you so much for your invitation. My name is Jean-Francois Hans. I'm working for the Fondation des Alliances Françaises and I'm in charge of the zone Asia, Oceania and Africa. The mission of the Alliance Française is to promote the French language and Francophone culture and to foster exchange between French speakers and local communities. Founded in Paris in 1883, the Alliance Française currently boasts more than 800 chapters in 131 countries with over half a million students worldwide. Another mission of the Alliance Française is therefore to promote artists within network. For decades, l'Alliance Française is support creations in the world world. In South Asia, in particular, for so long, the Alliance Française has been at the origin of many innovating artistic events. The Fondation des Alliances Françaises, which supports the network from Paris nowadays, congratulates the organizers, artists, and partners of the Deconfine Festival, and which is 
its long life. Thank you so much for all of you. And we will watch a teaser soon. French network significant work around the globe. Um, now we turn to Gael, who's the director of Alliance Française Ahmedabad, who will share with us an overview of the network's activities in India and throw some light on Deconfine as one of its main conveners due to whose efforts this pan-South Asian collaboration was possible. Gael, if you could tell us more. Thank you, Priti. Thank you, Kayal, for curating this uh, wonderful festival. And um, this festival is, very, is really has been a way for us, for this network of 14 Alliance Francaise and 13 um, annex through India. It means 27 centers, but also with uh, Alliance Francaise in Sri Lanka, Alliance Francaise in Bangladesh, Alliance Francaise in Nepal, Alliance Francaise in Pakistan to all work together. This is absolutely unique. This is a great opportunity. Uh, we had before this opportunity with some real, like, uh, uh, real life events because uh, it was before this terrible uh, time. But, uh, for example, in uh, March, we had the concert of Manu Chao coming also in, uh, in India, in Bangladesh and everything. And we were, we were connecting. This time, we are connecting for uh, online event and uh, that's really something very important to develop because we see that in the future uh, we hope not too much but uh, maybe we have this kind of situation so it's very good to take the habit of working together for all those networks but also for all those artists uh, thanks to you thanks to massa we put all together with this project of deconfine or deconfine of course the name it's uh, full of hope huh? we all hope to be deconfined as soon as possible. And uh, I, I would say one word of Victor Hugo. We say it's Victor Hugo, I'm not sure it's him, but this quotation saying that the best days of our life are the one we will coming, we will be coming. So I hope that uh, it's, uh, it's what, what will happen after this, those days. But for now, the best days will be in this festival in November, this festival of uh, Deconfine involving all those Alliance Francaise um, what is great is that it's also mixing artists and also um, people working in this network, uh, directors of Alliance Francaise, but also Institut Francais uh, for the design, for the ideas, for the concept, but also to, uh, to talk, to exchange with those artists, those artists who are all over the world, even if they are from South Asia, I know that there is some uh, living currently in Canada, in the United States and everything. So uh, it's really like uh, people meeting all over the globe. And today it's a very important message. So uh, I think that this idea and uh, to, to make it true, I think it's very, it's very important. And we hope that this festival will become an annual meeting, an annual meeting for all the South Asian network but also to find some new artists, some discover some artists, and also to discover also this, this digital art that is uh, promoted by no Novum Numeric, uh, um, this concept of EF Paris. Uh, because in digital art this time, we'll discover about interactive art, performance, data art, artelligent, artificial intelligence, but also augmented reality. This is something uh, that is more and more in our everyday life. So I really hope that uh, this, um, this festival will be a success. And, and again, thank you to all the partners, but also thank you to you all, all the people who will be here, who will be uh, uh, watching on your smartphone, on, on your tablet, on your uh, uh, computer, those events during those uh, this coming, uh, this coming months of November. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Gael. I mean, your contributions to the project cannot be described merely in words. None of this would have been possible without your dedication and that phone call that we just did a few months before that let us do something for Novum Numeric. Um, thank you so much once again. And now we come to the theme and the concept that has shaped this festival. So the concept of confinement, because we were all sort of confined in our respective virtual uh, physical spaces, um, we started reflecting on the idea of confinement as a very fundamental aspect of human condition. I mean, we are limited by our minds and our bodies in some way. Along with this biological confinement, society too has conjured its own modes of confinement and been prisons or factories or visas or permits. I mean, these are, these are just few examples of uh, confinement in real life. But in the recent past, the COVID-19 pandemic has made physical confinement necessary for the sake of public health and safety. It has underlined the paradox of our relationship with technology. We are simultaneously confined and liberated by these devices and screens that are now an integral part of our lives. These tools allowed us to work, to socialize and to create when free movement and physical interactions with others was not possible. In fact, it is still not possible and yet, here we are, all of us from different parts of the world, trying to do this festival through our computer, through our physically confined spaces. At the same time, these spaces and these virtual spaces also trap us in their own way, within their virtual walls. So deconfine is also with the idea of deconfinmo numeric, which is towards an attempt to break free, to renegotiate and reconfigure the nature of our collective association with technology, to redraw the contours of this intimate connection. The artists and other creators featured in the festival have used these technologies to tell stories about the world around them, to critically examine and or reinvent our usual ways of using these tools, and to ask questions about the future of this relationship that we have with technology. Now we invite you to join us as we virtually walk you through the exhibition. Okay, so we are very excited to welcome you all to deconfine.org. And as you can see, this is the landing page, which gives you a brief overview of the festival and is the gateway to the entire site. As we mentioned before, the festival comprises an online media art exhibition, a number of conversations with artists and researchers and curators, an exclusive artist workshop as well. On top, uh, you have the different kinds of technology that the artists have used in their work and you have a short description of the festival theme. On the site, you have a list of all the participants and the countries they come from. You can click on them to visit their individual pages. Overhead, you have the tabs that you can click, you can click on to find out more about the festival, including details about the concept in the curatorial note. You can also find out more about us, Media Art South Asia and the what who we are and you can also find out about Digital November. Um, then you have uh, the program which gives you all you know, the detailed information about the events we have lined up for you for this whole month as well as the workshop. If you want to know more about each organization that has made this festival possible please go to the fourth tab organizers and now the most exciting part of this website which is of course the online exhibition and um, I will, um, we will go to artworks which has 11 artworks that the artists have contributed and this is a diverse range of works by 11 artists from France and South Asia. The works examine the evolving and multifaceted nature of human technology relationships and leverage the potential of technology to reflect on that relationship and other social issues. Now I will go over briefly uh, and take you through each artwork. Uh, so first we have French artist uh, Justine Emmert's trilogy of works, Reborn, Coexistence and Soul Shift, which studies patterns of engagement between artificial intelligence and human beings incorporating video and performance by both robots and human actors. Then we have uh, Indian artist Amai Kataria's work, Mom, I'm Safe, which is an interactive website that reconceives virtual exchanges of affection. The artist set up a webcam in a studio that enabled him to live stream during the early days of the pandemic. Site visitors were allowed to send him messages which were printed out in his studio in real time. Then we go on to Indian artist Parvati Nair's digital art and performance based video called Water Exchanges. This is also a trilogy of uh, works and this looks at water as an aesthetic element, a natural resource as well as a political subject. 
Then we have Bangladeshi artist Polash Bhattacharji's special feature, which is a three channel video depicting the body's encounter with mass media. Then we have Canada based Pakistani artist Faisal Anwar's work, Charbagh. Charbagh refers to a particular type of medieval garden, and the artwork allows visitors to participate in its creation by uploading pictures with specific hashtags on Instagram, and he then uses this data to mutate his piece. So the audience creates the artwork, and it changes constantly through their part participation. Then we have Bidhata Kesi, the artist from Nepal, whose work Adhar is an experimental video on human fragility in the face of the ubiquity of digital media. Then we have French artists Vincent Moon and Priscilla Telman, whose documentary Tajalli on the main Sufi singers of the Ajmer Darga Sharif um, has been presented on this uh, website. We are proud to announce that this marks the world premiere of this documentary and will be available for viewing from tomorrow until the 20th only. The artists have generously agreed to share with us their entire body of work and you can go to their page to explore their other works. And then we have uh, French artist Pierre Georgilou's Metabolism, which is a video recreating Tokyo on the basis of metabolism, a Japanese architectural movement using footage as well as digitally rendered images. It reimagines Tokyo's architectural landscape with inspiration from biological elements. Then we have Beatrice de Fez in space, which combines augmented reality with painting and uses it to tell stories and thus broadens the boundaries of an age old art form with the latest tools. Sri Lankan artist Danushka Marasinghe's video collage, Now I Never Go Home on the Old Road, charts the changing landscape of his homeland after a devastating civil war. And finally, we have Pierrick Sector 13, which is a film about Sector 17, a commercial area in the center of Chandigarh, that explores the specificity of post-colonial architecture. Some of these words, like Mom, I'm Safe, Adhar, and Metabolism, were made for online viewing. The other works were adapted for online viewing, especially for this exhibition. And before Khayal takes you through the other uh, sections of the website, we want to thank all the artists for their contribution to the festival because without them, this would not have been possible. Khayal. Yeah. Thank you, Proviti, for that brief explanation about the artworks and the artists that involved. Um, I would just throw some light on how we have also tried to mediate subjects around the artworks and around the subjects that the artists are dealing with technologies. Um, so basically to do this, what we did was that we also have a series of conversations, as Pariti mentioned earlier, throughout the month. So we have approximately 15 conversations, in fact, we have 15 conversations uh, to be exact, of which there will be 10 conversations with artists, there will be three conversations with uh, researchers and curators, and uh, one the inaugural and the closing note. Um, you can find all the information about our program here on the website. This is also where you will find out that on each of these dates, the program, the, the conversation will be released. Um, and as mentioned earlier, we have, apart from those 10 artists, we have three panel discussions and three conversations basically, which would be with uh, um, com on community empowerment with open source technology with uh, hidden, hidden pockets and project in commons from France, which deal with open source culture and open source mapping. So open source practices basically. Uh, we also have the curator of uh, THSF, Toulouse Hackerspace Factory in France, uh, Pauline Fournier, who worked for five years on this alternative arts festival um, in south of France. And she will be throwing light upon hackerspaces and hacker collectives and their philosophy and uh, do-it-yourself uh, philosophy and workshops and how they engage with public artists and participants during the festival. Along with that, we also have the pleasure to have with us Anushka Rajendran, who is a curator from India, currently a curator of Columbus Scope and also was assistant curator of Kochi Venale, who is part of the project as, and will be giving a conference um, on digital and media arts in South Asia and the challenges involved in the current COVID pandemic times. Um, so basically you can find all of these informations here uh, till the 29th, which is the closing note um, of the festival. All of these conversations will be released on the Facebook accounts of Alliance Francesis as well as will be also released on the website itself. Uh, so for example, on each artist page, uh, this is where you will find the video of uh, the artist talk and the artist conversation live on that particular day. 
So basically you can go and have an access to this thing on that particular day, but also it'll be archived on the website. So you can have the access to the website and keep, keep on coming back to it as and when required. So this is, so to say, our little effort. Um, we have also sort of divided the whole theme, whole question into four weeks. So the week one focuses on, as Boiti again mentioned, the world premiere of Tajali, behind the scenes of Toulouse Hackerspace Factory and the inauguration. The second week would have Justin Emard and Pierre Jean Gilou talking about metabolism and video art. The third week would have Anushka Rajendran, as I spoke earlier about, um, and artists talk with Amai Kataria, Paulash Bhattacharya, and Talushka Marasinghe. And then the fourth, which is the last week, would have exchanges with Parvati Nair, with Faisal Anwar, um, with Vidita, and with Beatrice Defais. This brings us to the end uh, of the inauguration uh, session. I won't call it ceremony. Um, but uh, thank you very much for everyone who is present here. We want to express our gratitude thank to you the. Thank much. We, we really want to express our Merci. gratitude to the Institut Français de Paris, to the Alliance Française Fondation, and the network in India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and even Pakistan to the extent that they are supporting us, as well as the French Institute in India, without whose support this wouldn't be possible. We also want to thank extremely to all the audiences who are present with us today and are joining us live. Uh, I mean, it won't be live. This is a projected, uh, uh, it will be projected here. But we invite you to explore the exhibition website yourself and to keep an eye on this page for, this up for the upcoming conversation with artists and researchers um, on the website. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Bon festival. Thank you. Merci. Et quelle belle programmation. Merci. Bravo. Voilà. Merci beaucoup. So I hope that all of you will be a part of it and you will have some time also to come to the festival and yeah, see will, this, the, uh, the conversations there. Yeah. Great. Thank you very so much. much.